to start off the interview, I have a few questions. Uh, the first question is, tell me about yourself. Now listen, I'm not answering any questions about myself until you have a lawyer here with me. I think I would have to say, my name is Sarah. Uh, well, I don't really have much to say. Well, my last name is Henderson, but my mom's father's grandpapa is Smith. And I noticed that your last name is Smith, so I thought maybe we would be related. My name is Orlando the second, and my father is Orlando. There's a lot I can say. I like to shop, mostly for shoes, but no. Well, then I go. Oh, I just bought this this week. It was like at a really good price. Oh, let's see. Um, hmm, that's about it. Shopping. <laughs> I, Linda, oh, I hope you don't mind if I use flashcards I've prepared. I, Linda, alleged to be a well-rounded individual. I thought you might ask this question, so I brought a garbanzo bean to elucidate my point. I come from a well-rounded family with strong scruples. My grandmother was the one who electrified me to rise to my potential. How would you define success? Oh, success. <laughs> Changing your sense of fashion. That is an awful dress, I need to say. I mean, I could get you... We need to go shopping together. <laughs> success is my middle name, so... Uh, I would probably just define success as me succeeding. I think success is is when you have a goal and and you really you really try to meet that goal in your mind. Survival. If I make it to bed alive tonight, I've succeeded for today. Success is succeeding in one's goal. Well, success I think success would be getting a job and being co-workers with you. That would definitely be success. Success. According to Webster, it is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. As in, the president... No, no, no. I like the personal touch better. I, Linda, had success in persuading you, the interviewer, to bestow on me a job. Tell me about the riskiest decision you have ever made. I did make, I did make one risky decision in my life. You know, really, I don't think my life has been risky at all. Yeah, well, I've, I've made so many risky decisions and it always turned out fine. Hmm, risky decision. Wait, wait, am I going to call it? Hello? Hi, honey. How are you? Guess what? I'm in the interview right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a job. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you've been asking me about risky decisions. Do you remember that time when you first asked me out? <laughs> and I, I was trying to decide between you and the other I think I would have to say it was in 1992 when... I bought the mushroom farm. Risky? <laughs> oh no. I am much more partial to the word parlous. Parlousness is for those who are unprepared. I, Linda, am not like other personages. I am never unprepared. Describe your three greatest accomplishments to date. <laughs> well, First one is that I graduated from first grade. Then I graduated from second grade. And, well, maybe eventually I can give you a third accomplishment in my life. But those are two of them. Three greatest accomplishments. Three. Well, I could... No. Oh! That would be good. Well, <laughs> there are a lot. <laughs> Oh, I got this computer the other week, and it was really cool. Like, I opened it up, and there's this little, like, slide-out 
cup holder. It was so cool. It works so well. <laughs> Technology these days. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um. Oh, oh. I met Santa Claus. I always thought, like, people told him, me that he was not real, but <laughs> he was real. Oh, I got a picture with him. He was at the mall. Only his reindeer weren't there, but that's okay. I, Linda, <laughs> collaborated with many of my fellow citizens to purge this ravishing county of its repugnant detritus. Secondly, I was commissioned to the president of the big wig camaraderie for three years. And I have been doing a splendiferous job. I'd say, I would say that one of my three greatest accomplishments was when I ate dinner with the president, vice president, and secretary of state. That's just one accomplishment. My second accomplishment was when I ate dinner with the president of Walmart, Kmart, and uh, Target. I think my three greatest accomplishments, the first one would be getting this job with you. The second one would be meeting you. The third one would be... Oh, I heard that your uh, children's um, children go to the high school down the road that my sister teaches. I thought that was neat, too. Describe when you or a group that you were part of was in danger of missing a deadline. What did you do? Well, basically the people in my group, they just kept on working and tried to figure out the problem and they took this burden on themselves. I just went home and went to bed and told them to do a good job. Well, I don't work in groups because people, they scare me. It's fascinating that you should choose that particular question. I found it a bit more nice to answer. Well... I don't really worry about that one that much. I mean, I just, they, they're so, that is more of an inconvenience. I mean, you get through life, you know, you don't have to worry about them. I, I was a chauffeur for the Queen of England, and she was on her way to the wedding of the, and the Duke was having a wedding. So, I knew that there was a deadline I had to meet. I had to get the Queen from here to there. And pretty much... How I went about doing it was, I just weed through traffic and <laughs> we made it. it. Really wasn't that bad. Well, it's really quite easy when I get into a situation like that. I really would think what you would do, and that helps me. And the last question of this interview is why should I hire you? Oh. Oh, that's a hard question. Well, probably because, because I don't have a job. Because you're a great buddy to work with. I'm sure you are. I don't mean to sound like I'm overqualified for the job or anything, but I probably am. Which is why you should hire me. I mean, I could boost the name of your company, and I could give you an, you know, a name out there, you know. Well, because we, I think everyone should be friends. And, you know, I've had, you know, as I was walking through the halls, I just saw everyone sitting in these little cubicles, and they just were all like, talking to themselves and on their computers and just typing away. And I think that we should all, like, get out and clean out those cubicles and just have one big desk. <laughs> I think I would have to say it's because I need the job really bad. I don't have that question. <sighs>